Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to upgrade from Ubuntu 18.04 LTS to Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Ubuntu 18.04 LTS was released back in 2018 in the month of April and as you may know or you may not know, LTS versions are of Ubuntu are provided support for 5 years. So that support is going to end this month that is May 31st of 2018. 23. So no longer will Ubuntu 18.04 be uh, re receiving any security up updates or any package updates officially from Ubuntu. So it is better to upgrade to another version of Ubuntu if you really want Ubuntu or you can choose any other Linux distribution. But today we are going to see how we can upgrade from Ubuntu 18.04 to Ubuntu 22.04 which is the latest LTS version of Ubuntu which was released last year in the month of April. Now you can extend your support for Ubuntu 18.04 by paying some money and getting Ubuntu Pro but when you have other alternatives like you have the next version that is Ubuntu 20.04 you have a very recent LTS version Ubuntu 22.04 and they are out there for you to use freely it doesn't make much sense for you to pay for Ubuntu Pro but if you really if you if your computer is very important it has a lot of sensitive information information that you cannot lose then maybe you can go for Ubuntu Pro that's for enterprise but if you are uh, using a personal computer then it is high time that you upgrade from Ubuntu 18.04 to Ubuntu 22.04. Now this is done in two steps. You cannot directly jump from Ubuntu 18.04 to Ubuntu 22.04. You, you have to upgrade from 18.04 to 20.04. Then from 20.04 we upgrade to Ubuntu 22.04. So let's move to the virtual machine in which I have installed Ubuntu 18.04. So as you can see in the settings uh, in the about section. It is Ubuntu 18.04.6 LTS. And uh, let's open a web page. So this is uh, from the official website of Ubuntu and it gives some upgrade, intro uh, upgrade introduction how you can do the upgrade. So there are three steps involved in that. First you do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. This is to keep all the software that is present in your system in the updated and the most recent version possible for Ubuntu 18.0. 04 and the next command sudo do release upgrade will really will upgrade to the next release of ubuntu so we are going to do that let's uh, minimize this browser let's open a terminal Control alt t to open a terminal in ubuntu let's make this full screen and then let's zoom in a little bit so we are going to combine the first two commands so sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade so this combines both the update and the upgrade commands. So enter, give your sudo password. And OK. And it's telling 283 packages upgraded, 6 newly installed, 0 to remove, 241 standard security updates and everything. If we want to continue. Yes. Enter. So it will start the update and upgrade process. Now this should take a bit of time. If there is any interaction in the middle, I'll join you or I'll join you after the completion of this upgrade. Up, not the entire upgrade, but the upgrade and update of the packages that are already installed. So the update and upgrade has been uh, completed. Now it took around uh, half an hour for this process to be completed. So let's move on to the next process. The next is to uh, get the next release. So we are going to do a release upgrade. So sudo do dash release dash upgrade. Now this is going to be a much longer process but first I have to type it properly. I didn't type it properly. Okay so release. Enter and give your sudo password and it's checking for a new Ubuntu release. You have not rebooted. So we did a lot of update and we didn't reboot. So let's reboot. Okay, let's give our password. Let's get into our uh, graphical environment. And let's do and control alt T to open the terminal. And let's make it full screen. Let's uh, zoom in. Let's give the up arrow to move to the previous command. So sudo do release upgrade. Enter. Give your sudo password. Checking for a new Ubuntu release. And okay, it's getting the upgrade tool signature, upgrade tool. It's reading some cache. 
now this process will take a lot of time it can take hours for this upgrade process to be completed so be ready for that if you are uh, using a laptop make sure that the charge is there if you are using a computer make sure there is an ups and there is no power cut today in your area make sure everything is okay okay so it's calculating the changes after doing some uh, getting some stuff from the ubuntu repositories you can see here and now it's telling me that uh, three install packages are no longer supported by canonical you can still get support from the community okay then 16 packages are going to be removed from this installation then 347 new packages are going to be installed 1426 packages are going to be upgraded so these are the things that are going to happen 16 packages will no longer be available 347 packages will be installed new new uh, versions of those packages will be installed then uh, there are going to be 1426 upgrades you have download you have to download a total of 1357 megabytes this will take four minutes with your connection installing can take several hours once the download has finished the process cannot be cancelled so before proceeding with that make sure you read everything and think if you are okay with that and then you can give why and enter your lock screen has been disabled so lock screen will be disabled and the screen will not lock from now on but you don't you mostly you will not have to do anything so you can enter it will uh, start uh, it will start the upgrade process so let's press enter and it is starting so this will take a lot of time i'll join you once this part of the installation the upgrade process has been completed so it has taken up a really long time for the next interaction to come in so it's asking removing the packages uh, can take several hours it wants to remove the obsolete packages we want to do that enter i hope that this gets completed a little bit faster than the previous process because while the previous process was going on in the middle there was a power failure here so i had to abandon the abandon the video and then i had to do whatever i did again because i did not save that virtual machine and uh, it, the, it was a uh, it was a very difficult uh, problem and then i had to run through the installation again and i had to reach up to this point so i started this video around 12 o'clock and now it's uh, 6 o'clock 6 15 it's been six hours since i've been sitting in front of the computer and i'm in a very awkward position here in which i cannot uh, go outside or somewhere uh, to relax and while the process is going on it's something difficult i hope i complete this installation today or maybe tomorrow i'll take some time and i'll complete this video but i am going to pass the video here and i'm going to join you once the removing of the obsolete packages has been completed so finally the system upgrade is complete and it's telling a restart is required so to finish the upgrade as a restart is required if you select y the system will automatically restart so i am giving y and enter so that should reboot the system so you can see that the splash screen has changed there is a modern looking logo of ubuntu rotating now it's not there we have the ubuntu logo here without the color so as we grow modern and modern we become more simplistic in technology especially and let's give our password our passwords and all should not have changed because we are just upgrading our system from 18.04 and even the screen resolution goes back to 1920 into 1080 because in a virtual machine normally we have a problem with the screen resolution but here it remembers the screen resolution that i set in the previous version so that's really really good that's what you get from an upgrade instead of installing it fresh because when you install it fresh then you have to go ahead and make all those changes that you made to the system again so let's go to the settings again the wallpaper is the same i do not remember the name uh, the name of the version the code name so let's go to settings and uh, it's definitely uh, the next version but let's check it's ubuntu 20.04.6 LTS. Now our aim is not to stay on 20.04 but it's to go to 22.04. So how do we do that? We just repeat the process again. So now the process should be much more simpler uh, but I don't know that. And one more thing there is a bit of a lag. As I told uh, I don't know if I told it at the beginning of this video because it's uh, more than six hours since I started uh, this video. So the responsiveness of Ubuntu as we move to the newer versions 
has been uh, reduced because Ubuntu 18.04 was super uh, responsive. Ubuntu 20.04 has some cool animations, but it's not very responsive. Now, this is not going to be a problem for me if I'm going to run it in my real computer because that's uh, not a very powerful computer, but it's a decent enough machine to handle that. But in a virtual machine, I'm having some lags, but I don't like that they are going to sacrifice performance just to get some fancy effects but let's move on with the upgradation process control alt t that reminds the standard key binding to open the terminal let's zoom in a little bit again zooming in is yeah it's working so we are going to repeat the process again so sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade so enter let's give the password my thinking is that there should not be any updates but i don't know how ubuntu is going to see things so let's uh, just wait there is nothing to be updated or upgraded so we can uh, straight away go to the process of moving on to the next release by typing the command sudo do dash release dash upgrade so enter it's checking for a new ubuntu release and it's getting the update uh, upgrade tool signature Okay, it's so reading the cache. So after running through some checks, it's calculating the changes and now it will uh, show us uh, what are the things that are going to be needed. So one install package is no longer supported and 16 packages are going to be removed. 251 new packages are going to be installed and 1563 packages are going to be upgraded. So it says that it will take four minutes and the upgrade can take several, several hours. Yes, it does take several hours. I don't know if I'll be able to complete this video today, but this video is going to be released as a single video. So I'll try to complete it today or maybe tomorrow and then I will uh, release it as a uh, combined video. So let's continue so that the process can run. So why am I doing this video? Because I'm crazy. I wanted to do this. So I am doing it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm once again going to pass the video here and then I'll join you once this portion of the Ubuntu installation has been completed so the process of upgrading from ubuntu 20.04 to 22.04 has almost been completed the installation has been completed now there has been a gap of five days when i started this video and uh, the, the part that i am recording now that's why i am wearing new clothes and also now we have one more step to go we have to remove obsolete packages that's what we are seeing here let's zoom in a little bit so that you can see that remove obsolete packages 357 packages are going to be removed so even removing those packages can take a lot of time so let's uh, give yes to continue that y and then enter so that should start removing now you should uh, understand that the ubuntu 18.04 that virtual machine that i had that did not have any additional packages that i installed i just installed uh, vim and I am not going to use that much of Ubuntu anyway. So I did not do that, that much with that virtual machine. And even that machine took a lot of time to be upgraded. So if you have a lot of packages installed, then definitely it's going to take a lot more time for the upgradation process to be completed. So one thing that is going to be really, really important for this upgradation process to be successful is patience because it may take one or two days for the upgradation process to be completed entirely so that's something that you should keep in mind and mind you in the middle of the upgrading process if your uh, system goes out of power then there is a chance that your system may break and you may have to do some fiddling to, to get your system back on track and you should have the knowledge to do that so that's why it's very much advised that you take a backup of your system and then you do the new installation uh, uh, fresh new do a fresh new installation you take a new uh, pen drive a flash drive with ubuntu 22.0 for lts and you do the installation that process will be much much easier and much much safer but if you have a lot of uh, important stuff in your computer and you don't want uh, you have uh, made a lot of changes to some settings and you don't want all those things to go away then definitely you can choose this option and if it is that important make sure that there is some uninterrupted power supply you have a ups you have some battery backup etc so now this is going to take a bit of time i am going to come back once this part of the installation process has been completed 
so finally after a long wait it has come the upgrade has been uh, completed to finish the upgrade we have to restart so press y to restart so y enter and once it re restarts we, sh we should be in ubuntu 22.04 lts which is the latest lts offering from ubuntu now uh, the time span that it took for me to complete this video is six days but it should not necessarily take you six days for you to complete the upgrade process it should be completed within a day if you sit from morning till uh, night like 12 hours or uh, like 14 15 hours it should be complete or maybe it may take an additional day if you have a lot of packages installed but it was a fun thing to do so that's why i did i wanted to do it so i did it now we are here the ubuntu splash screen has come up and we are in the login screen it took a bit of time to get here maybe that's because this is the first time that we are logging into ubuntu 22.04 but when i upgraded from ubuntu 18.04 to 20.04 i noticed a bit of lag from 18.04 to 20.04 which is not acceptable at all i hope that 22.04 is much much faster so let's uh, log in did i type my password correct yes i did and even that took a bit of time but it doesn't matter and here we are inside ubuntu 22.04 let's go to the settings and let's have a look at uh, the version i think the latest is 22.04.6 let's go to about the device name is ubuntu 18 because that's the name that we gave when we started this installation now it's ubuntu 22.04.2 lts i think so that's the correct version so here we are in ubuntu 22.04 so this is how you will upgrade from ubuntu 18.04 to ubuntu 22.04 now the main reason i did this video was because ubuntu 18.04 will no longer be supported from this month from the end of this month so now today it's may 12th and from may 31st there will be no official support for ubuntu 18.04 so the recommended way to upgrade is to do a fresh install of ubuntu 22.04 but if you do not want to wipe out your complete operating system and install another thing from fresh this is the other alternative where you can upgrade from your existing ubuntu 18.04 now it's just three steps that's what you have to keep in mind first you do sudo apt update then you do sudo apt upgrade or you com combine both those commands by typing sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade and then you do sudo do release upgrade that's it it's just a three process step and it's it's fun for me to uh, do all these things because uh, this video has been recorded in six parts and it has been done over a period of six uh, six uh, days so the first day when i started uh, that will be a, a sequence so i sat here for like uh, five to six hours for that process to complete and uh, then after that i had to come again another day and then uh, i had to do the re remaining process in the background and uh, then i had to save that virtual machine whenever i go home then the next day i have to come i have to restore that virtual machine then again work on that and finally we have reached ubuntu 22. 04 so it's a really really glad experience i don't know how you will feel when you see this video because this video is going to be just one long video for you but i really liked doing this video so thank you for watching i hope this video was useful to somebody if you find this video useful then you press the like button if you want to watch more videos like this if you want to get notified about the content subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications if you have anything to say about these videos then you can say them in the comment section or you can reach me via social media i am on reddit and on mastodon links to those will be in the description of this video also there is a matrix group which you can access through element desktop or any such application that supports matrix or there is a telegram group js linux questions and answers i think so that's the name of the group the link to everything will be in the description you can access those groups and you can ask your questions there and if you really like this video and you want you think that somebody else will be benefited through this video you can also share this video most importantly i want to say again please subscribe to the channel and we have reached 400 subscribers thank you for everyone who has sub subscribed to this channel
channel and who have continuously watched my videos thank you so much for your support i hope that this channel grows even more thank you once again have a nice day